Alright guys, welcome to story time with Drew. So this is, I think I've done this before, but I'm going to be doing it again. So it all started Friday the 13th. So I just woke up, right? No, actually it was Thursday. So we went over, I went over to my Auntie Christina's house. And she just like right off the bat, oh, let's go get a tattoo tomorrow. And that was Friday the 13th. So I was like, all right, cool, I'm down. And um, so Friday came around and me, my mom, and my aunt, we all went to this place called Hustle and Tats on Sepulveda. So shout out to them for tatting me up because they did a pretty good job. I, I like how it came out. So as you all know on my Instagram, the design I got was a cross, just a simple cross. Um, I wanted to get an arrow because this arrow meant something to me but I was like you know what I think I'm just gonna get a cross because why not so I got the cross all right I was chill about it I was all calm I was like, all right cool I'm resting there I'm kind of spacing out falling asleep I was tired because I had only slept for six hours and then once they finally called my name and said like oh, okay give me like five minutes to set up that's when it hit me like, uh oh, I'm getting a tattoo. Alright, so mind you guys, I didn't eat in the beginning. So the not eating part will come in right now in the story. So, alright, so they took a couple of minutes to get ready. I sat down, just talking to him. Really cool dude. Uh, I didn't get his name, but he was really cool. And um, just talking to him. How long have you done this for? 10 years? It's like, oh wow. And then I recommended. Uh, Alex's girl Jasmine. So Jasmine, if you're watching this, um, I told them about you, and one of the guys knew you. So, and uh, so okay, we we're starting, and he had done the outline. I was like, all right, cool. It didn't hurt as much. I mean, my arm started twitching, but it didn't hurt. And then once he did the shading, like more towards the. So here, I don't know. If I'll show you guys. So more towards the top part right here when he started shading it in um all right that's when i started like okay this, this isn't bad the shading wasn't bad but then once he got like to the close started getting to the bottom that's when i was like oh okay so i was like my whole body went numb my arm went numb at first and i couldn't feel it now after my whole body and luckily i had the words to tell him is it weird that my body is feeling numb and he's like, uh oh, that's not good. That means like my, my vision was like slowly, my eyes were slowly closing and I was slowly losing vision. So he quickly ran to a little refrigerator that they had and he got me a Coke. He's like, here, drink this. So I opened the Coke, I drank it and I was normal. So can you believe I almost passed out for this little tattoo? And imagine. People get like okay, so people get bigger tattoos. Like this is my first one, but for me to pat almost pass out on this, I was like I wasn't freaking out in the beginning. So I looked to the people to my right, and I told them I was like I'm not freaking out. I, I said I'm not freaking out. I don't know why, but um, yeah, that's the story of my tattoo. Um, another story is the celebrities I see at work. So. I've seen a couple celebrities at work, but obviously they have to like cover up, put their hood on, not be noticeable. Uh, the first one I saw was Ariana Grande and Mac Miller. And my initial reaction would to be like freak out because I'm, I'm like so in love with Ariana Grande. I just, I was too tired standing in one spot. Like I was like, oh, okay, there they go, that's it. I got mad after that. That was my only chance. Oh, I couldn't do anything. Then again, I couldn't like stop the line and be like, oh my gosh, I got it. Then a bunch of people would have flooded in and I would have gotten in trouble. So just let them go. Uh, later on, they had posted a, or she had posted a pic on Instagram, like somewhere halfway going up where the view is. And uh, they're just like, their whole group was there. And yeah, I got mad. So uh, I saw her. I was like less than a foot away from her and Mac Miller. I just saw them. I was like, oh, okay, there they go. 
What was that, right? Um, a couple nights ago, I actually saw Kendall and Kylie Jenner, uh, Travis Scott and Blake Griffin, and a bunch of other people who I really don't know. But, because I guess some people had told me that Kendall and Kylie went to the Transformers. It's like, alright, cool. They were waiting in front of the maze, and I was like, what are you guys doing? Uh, they're like, oh, Kendall and Kylie just went to Transformers, we want to wait and we can spot her. And, uh, I mean, I didn't tell them, oh, no, you guys can't wait, because there was nobody coming, so I didn't really care. But then security came, and they're like, oh, no, guys, you have to keep moving down, keep the line moving. And uh, I asked them, I was like, oh, they, they told me step side, a party's coming through. I was like, who's coming through? They're like, don't worry about it. I was like, okay. I saw, uh, I saw Kylie, she was like, she was wrapped up in a sweater, in a black hoodie, and um, Travis had her armor on it. And I just, I just said hi. I was just like waving to them. And for some reason, I saw Blake Griffin, and I pointed to him. I was like, oh, hey, I know you. And he kind of grinned and walked away. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a Clippers fan, but for me to see like the, those people up close and personal, I mean, they're just normal people, but just with more money than anybody else. But it's pretty cool just seeing the, the celebrities. And uh, one girl told me that Ariana Grande, I guess she goes there a lot. So uh, maybe if I can continue to work there because something went wrong or I don't know. Something about my application process went terribly wrong. Uh, I had to go to Human Resources to sort that out. I got a call this morning. They said they can't guarantee me some information, but I mean, that's dumb, because I, um, I don't know. I don't have any attendance points. Uh, have not called out. One question was, do you have any visible tattoos? This is the only one, the only one I have is that one that I told you guys about. And if they don't let me come back, then that's pretty dumb. Because, I mean, I filled out an application. I got like another one. I got an email saying that I don't meet the minimum requirements. So, I don't know who to talk to. But, that's going to wrap up story time. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to edit this really quick, upload it, probably see how long it takes to upload, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to watch Netflix. I know I haven't uploaded a video in like five or six days, so if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I'm at 55 subscribers, so thank you to all 55 of you who like my content. Um, at the moment, I'm not getting paid for this because I guess YouTube thought my content wasn't original. so. Maybe that's because I've been using a lot of artist songs in my videos, so that's why I stopped. And I just stuck to vlogging, so I will see you all tomorrow. Not with a brand new video, but within the next couple of days, I'll be uploading the video. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, again, make sure to subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to do my intro, no, outro like Dom, but I don't want to copy. I don't want to plagiarize stuff. Uh, just please subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Alright, so next time guys, peace out.